welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, of course, and today's video is gonna be super exciting. It's a full three-in-one get ready with me, as well as a mini vlog. I'm heading out to a nice, elegant, white dinner party for a very special friend, and I'm taking you all along. But before I do that, I'm gonna be getting ready with you all, doing my hair, my makeup, and sharing my outfit, as well as a bunch of other outfit ideas for white events. So if you have a white party or some type of all-white event coming up, I got you in today's video. Let's go ahead and get ready because I didn't start out like this. Today's video is sponsored by Native. Native is an amazing brand that specializes in personal care products. Their products are a staple in my home and have become a critical part of my daily hygiene and self-care routine. Native takes a great deal of care in what they put into their products. They like to keep things nice and simple. And as someone who is on a mission to use better products on my body, this gives me so much reassurance. Their body washes are a must for my daily shower routine. And when you combine them with their new collection of deodorant body sprays, you will be blown away. I've honestly never smelled as fresh as I do when I use this combination. And to be honest, for years I questioned whether aluminum free deodorant would keep me feeling fresh. Well, Native immediately crushed all of my doubts and reservations. I am completely hooked. And the scent range in this new collection is absolutely epic. Whether you prefer a crisp, clean scent, a fruity, fresh scent, a deep, warm scent, they have something for everybody. I am absolutely loving the cucumber mint, the lilac and white tea, the sweet peach and nectar, and the coconut vanilla. Those are the four scents that I am addicted to right now. And this new collection of deodorant body sprays can be used under your arms like traditional deodorant. And it also doubles as an all over body fragrance. Use my discount code 10 ways 2 for 20% off your first purchase with Native. It's getting really hot out you guys and as much as we all want to look really good, we definitely want to smell good and Native's products will have you smelling so fresh and you can feel good about using them. Be sure to go check out Native's new collection of deodorant and body sprays as well as all the other amazing personal care items they have to offer. Stay feeling fresh all summer long with Native. Now let's get into today's video. Alrighty, you guys, so we are starting off with hair today. And ooh wee, when I tell you my hair is a mess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a mess, y'all. Like, it's been in a bun all week. Of course, I have to wear it in a bun for my job because I work in law enforcement and we cannot just wear our hair swinging around because <laughs> somebody can grab this and take control of me with it. So that ain't gonna work. So it's always in a bun, but this week, it's a little extra gunky for some reason. So this is my hair in case any of you are new. Um, I do have hair under my wigs that I wear. And in some instances, my hair is a little bit longer than my wig. So I've gotten comments like, do you ever wear your real hair? Uh, yeah, every day. <laughs> every day that I go to my regular job, uh, I have to, okay. But um, yeah, I, I'm starting off with hair. I don't know anybody who doesn't do their hair first. I mean, I, I think I tried that once and I was like, felt out of place the whole day. But anyway, I'm so excited to get out tonight. Not only because tonight's celebration is for a really, really good friend of mine, but it's a white party and I'm always telling y'all like, plan white outfits because you're gonna get invited to a white party eventually during the summer. So I'm excited about that. I have like about six, five or six outfits to try on for you guys. Um, like different options for different types of white parties. So I'm gonna show you those after I finish my makeup and everything. But, ooh, if I could just get through this damn <laughs> patch on my head. But yeah, I'm excited about that. And it's at just a, a really nice, elegant restaurant in Long Beach, which is about an hour and 10 minutes from me on a Saturday. So yeah, I'm just excited to get out and be amongst friends, amongst girlfriends and dressed up, cute laughing, having fun, clowning or whatever. So yeah, lots of excitement today, but I gotta get through this hair first. So I'm basically gonna be applying a braided ponytail to my hair after I get it together. Look, I haven't even combed out my brush y'all. Now I'm doing it now and I don't wanna show it to y'all because it's it's pretty bad down here. It's pretty bad down here. So let me get the, let me get all the hair out of my brush. And I'm basically just trying to get my hair as slick as I can because like I said, it is kind of kind of gunky. It has some product in it. It's a little dirty, but um, I just could not get myself to go through the process of washing it um, because I did work every day this week. Normally I only work 
three days a week. But this week was like, had to hit that overtime. So I worked Monday through Friday this week and um, I just didn't have time to wash my hair. So I'm just gonna do the best I can with it right now. Basically just try to slick it as best I can. This is the ponytail I'm gonna be applying. It's a little braided ponytail. This is by Otre. It's the pretty quick braided pony in the 32 inch. I also have, I think the 60 inch of that braid, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be applying. I'm first gonna start off with this black wax stick from Ebon. This is what I use to kind of fill in my edges a little bit and make them look a little bit fuller. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that and you guys can see exactly where I'm applying that, like right here where I'm a little bit thin. And the thinness is, is basically just coming from me pulling my hair back and tying it, you know, cutting the circulation to my hair follicles in the front by always having my hair tied down and pulled back. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair to kill all of that. I really wanna get some braids, but like I said, because of my work, I have to consider that. But I think I'm gonna get my hair braided for a little while um, and just get some braids that I can put in a bun, really neat and cute. So I gotta find me a braider and they're around, <laughs> they're around. So I'll get a number from one of my friends and get my hair braided and some individuals for a little while to give it a break. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that first. Now I'm gonna go in with this She Is Bomb Collection Edge Control. You can get this from their website or their Instagram. Um, just type in She Is Bomb on Instagram and they'll come up. They make a really good edge control and this is one of the few edge controls that actually works all day on my hair because when my hair is dirty, it will revert back easily. But this edge control really keeps it in place and you see how slick it got just from that little bit I just put on. So I'm gonna do the back and the sides. And like I said, the goal is just to try to get it as neat as I can because, you know, <laughs> I just was not prepared this time and I just don't feel like doing a wig today. I don't know why. Um, I dress according, I dress and, you know, style myself according to how I feel. And today I just don't feel like wearing a wig. I feel like just wearing my hair with a little ponytail added on. I really could just do my own hair in a bun, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably do that braid. But now I'm gonna go in with this Pump It Up Gold Hairspray. This is a tried and true product for me. I love this hairspray. I've used it since high school and it's never let me down. Didn't let me down then even though everybody else did. And it's not letting me down now. So I'm gonna go all around my head with that. And I do plan to wash my hair tomorrow, which is Sunday, so. That's why I'm like going ham with the products because I am gonna wash my hair, y'all, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna get my butt up in the morning, wash it, let it deep condition for a few hours and then get it together so it's nice and fresh for my week ahead. But that Pump It Up hairspray is great if your hair is like freshly washed and you don't want it to like be too crispy. I love that hairspray for that reason. So now we're gonna go ahead and start getting our ponytail together get it in the right place. I'm definitely one of those people that thinks the position of your ponytail matters in your hairstyle. So I either like to go low or high middle or like up here super high. So I'm going high middle today. And I'm using a really thick rubber band. Y'all rubber bands are not good for your hair, but that's what I'm using, so. I just wanna keep it real. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna comb through, get any straggling hairs that may have come loose. Give it another good brush. I do see a lump, but honestly, I don't care. <laughs> we don't care. By the time I tie my scarf on for a while and let the hair just kinda of set, any lumps won't be really visible, so I'm not tripping about that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just braid my hair, part it into three and braid it in a nice little braid, wrap it into a bun and slap on my ponytail. So I'll probably speed it up for this part, you guys. Same clothes up from last night. Still lit like it's last night. Young living in the fast life. Young. 
Smoke cloud from the ash pipe. Catch air from the half pipe. I need to send a phone from the show. Okay, now that that's all wrapped on there, I'm gonna just take a ponytail holder and secure it versus a bobby pin because the braid itself has three cones in it and I just don't wanna have those three cones and a bobby pin stabbing me in the head. So I think the three cones is enough. So this is how the ponytail looks. To me, it looks pretty decent. You know, I probably will take a bobby pin and kind of just secure the ponytail around my bun. Matter of fact, let me grab my bobby pin. I think I dropped it. So I'm just gonna take this bobby pin and just make sure that the bun is covered. Just kind of push it through the braid and through my bun like that. And that looks good. So now that that's all done, I'm just gonna tie my hair down and we are pretty much ready to get into the makeup. And I'm really going for a nice, light, fresh face look. That's just what I want for today with my white outfit. I just wanna be really dewy, glowy, and fresh face. I don't want heavy makeup today. Um, I think ideally, when you're going for like a modern white look, you don't wanna to be too caked up. It just, it doesn't go together, right? It's something about it just doesn't go together. So I don't wanna to be too caked up today. I just wanna be very natural looking, very dewy. And um, yeah, this is how y'all about to look at me for the next 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, now that my hair is tied down, ready to kind of settle into place, or ready to get into the makeup. So let me go get all those products and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so for makeup, I'm gonna be starting off with my eyes, which means doing my eyebrows, eyeshadow, and all of that stuff, as well as my lashes. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be going in with this Juvia's Place Eyebrow Palette. This is what it looks like, and I really only use these two colors here for my eyebrows. To clean them up, I'm gonna be using the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the color SX14. To set them, I'm gonna be using the One Size Beauty Foundation in Dark 3 which is the same color that I use all over my face because like I said, I'm going for a really natural look. So I don't want anything too, too bright. And then for eyeshadow, I'm just going for a simple chocolate brown smoky eye. So I'm gonna be using this So Fierce Brights Everyday Eye Palette. This is what it looks like and I'm just gonna be using this one chocolate brown color in there. So this color right here. So that's pretty much gonna be the eyes. I did moisturize my face earlier. I used this um, Pharmacy Honey Halo to moisturize my face. This is one of the best moisturizers I have ever used. If you want your face moisturized all day, that's the product you need to use. But the thing is, I didn't apply sunscreen, y'all. So I need to go in with some sunscreen. I'm going in with the um, Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion SPF 50. That's what I'm using for my sunscreen because it's a little sunny out there today. It's very pretty out, so I wanna protect my little face. I like that that sunscreen doesn't have a white cast and it just blends into your skin so easily. But now I wanna go ahead and prime and to do that I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with the 4% Niacinamide, the pink one. So I'll go in with a bit of that just to smooth out my face and also so that the makeup will grip really well to my skin. And like I said, I'm going for a dewy look, so I'm not going in with my usual mattifying primers. I'm going for something a little bit more moisturizing and gripping. All right, so now that that is on, I am going to do these brows and these eyes with you guys. I'm gonna speed everything up so this process isn't too long and I'll be right back. Why you wanna let me go now, now, now? Are you saying that to change your mind? Full of a pity, let me know not nah, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again. Did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible? Oh. How could we let love go? How could we move on? Move on? Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? Will love a pity? Let me go. Nah, nah, now. 
Okay, you guys, I am starting to feel very pretty. The eyes are all done. And if I didn't mention it, the lashes that I applied are the Ardell Professional Foaming Lashes. This is what they look like. They're a very lightweight lash, and that's definitely what I was going for because the lashes and the liner can definitely make or break your look if you're going for like a more natural, lightweight look. So I wanted something kind of airy and light, and also I didn't want to go heavy with the liner. So I didn't add any eyeliner. I just added a little bit to the inner part of my eye just to make the lashes look a little more connected. So that's what we're working with. Now we're ready to get into the rest of the face because it's four o'clock and I gotta get out of here by five and I got five outfits to show y'all. So <laughs> I gotta get moving. So real quick, I'll run through the products. Today I'm doing something different. Like I said, I'm going for a lightweight look. So I'm actually just gonna use different color foundations in different parts of my face. And the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I love this foundation. I have it in a bunch of different shades because my complexion changes. My complexion changes throughout the year. I do have quite a few different shades of that. And then also because occasionally I do use it as concealer, like I'll use it under my eyes, which I'm gonna be doing today. So that's gonna be the foundation as well as the concealer. I'm gonna be combining the lighter foundation with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the color Mocha. So that's what I'm gonna use under my eyes. For bronzer, I'll be using my Juvia's Place bronzer. This is what that looks like, and this is in the color Dark. For um, contour, I'm actually gonna be going in with the One Size Beauty Trio contour. I'm gonna be using this dark one because I do wanna kinda of shape out my face. Anytime I pull my hair back, I like to shape my face a little bit more. For blush, I'll be going in with this One Size Beauty Trio, and this is in the color Firestarter. This is the Firestarter Trio. And to set my entire face, I'll be going in with the One Size Beauty Foundation in the color Dark in three. Let's see, anything else? Um, to set my under eyes, I'll be going in with two powders. That'll be the Kosas Cloud Set in the color Softly and the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color 390 to set under my eyes. For setting spray, I'll be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray all over my face. So that's what I'll be using. Lips will be very simple. My usual chocolate brown lip, you know, nude inner lip all that same thing. So let's go ahead and get into the face so we can try on some outfits, give you guys some really great ideas for future white party events. And then we're gonna get out the door to the event and I'm gonna show y'all what's really going on, okay? Cause it's gonna be a lit night.
say you guys the makeup is all done and it certainly feels a lot lighter than it does when I do like full concealer so using the two different colors of foundation definitely made me look and feel a lot lighter as far as the makeup in person it looks very much skin like it may not look like that to you guys on camera but my skin looks amazing in person and it doesn't look like i have on a lot of makeup so i'm loving the look so yeah let me go ahead and just apply my earrings i do want to add a little bit of highlight to my nose and i know i forgot to mention some products i think i forgot to mention the elf um, hd finishing powder that's what i use to set my entire face after i pretty much did everything so that's just like a staple for me that's something that i always do but yeah nice coin type of earrings is what i'm going for because i want them to really pop but like i said i do want to add a little highlighter so i'm going in with the the tribe highlighter volume 2 this is broken it's just a little corner left in there so i'm just going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose just like that give me a little cute little spot at the end of my nose i'm gonna put some on the bridge and just kind of drag it down so it doesn't look weird and I'm also gonna add a little bit to my inner corners. And that looks amazing. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna try on some outfits. I want to share some looks and some ideas for white events. So whether it's like a really dressy event, whether it's a white wedding, you know, maybe you all, you and your friends are going to a winery for a day and you all wanna wear white or something like that. I have some really great outfit ideas for you all. So let's get into those and then we'll be out the door. Alrighty folks, so here is look number one and I think this look is so cute. This is like a chiffon dress. It's made by the brand We Wore What and it's from Nordstrom and it's just such a pretty like baby doll style of dress. It's short, so if you're like super tall, this might be an issue, but I'm 5'6 and it hits me right like above the knee and I just think it's so pretty for like a white event. This would be ideal for a white wedding if the guests, if the wedding planners ask you to wear white or basically any type of dressed up white party, this would be really cute for. I think it's just really adorable. I love the puffy sleeves on it and it's just giving like princess vibes. I paired it with some platform gold shoes which are making me even taller which is making the dress even shorter but i think this is such a cute look for like a white event so yeah baby doll dress is a great option for any type of dressy white event let's get into another look so here's another really great look for a white party or some type of dressy white event this dress is definitely ideal for a white wedding or a really dressy white event, like a New Year's party that's all white or something like that, because it is kind of an upscale dress and it is kind of an occasion dress. This is by Rachel Roy. I picked it up at Saks Off Fifth, and I think they still have this dress available or a variation of it. I'll link it for you all. But I, when I bought it, I was a little bit heavier, so it's a little bit looser now on me, but I still love this dress. It's so, so cute. It's a maxi length dress, has a split, has like a little cut out here, and it's like a one shoulder type of deal with a little extra strap. It's just a really, really nice, elegant dress, and I love how modern it is. And I kept on those same Chinese laundry gold platforms with it, but you can style these with a daintier heel, you can style these with a colored heel if you wanna add a pop of color, but really cute, right? This one is so elegant. This one is not ideal for the dinner that I'm going to. I'm gonna put on the outfit that I'm wearing last, so that you guys can see that one, but this is great for like, like I said, any type of dressy white event. I love this dress. This whole look is just a, a sleigh. Let's go ahead and get into another one. So here's another super cute outfit for an all white event. And I actually recently wore this one in Jamaica. This was the outfit that I wore for the all white dinner party the night before the wedding. So I don't know if that vlog will be out before this video. I hope it does, but it may not. But this is actually what I wore to a white party in Jamaica. So this is a really great look for like a beach party. I have on linen pants and like this sort of gauzy type of top from Target. It's a very simple look overall, but it's also super elegant because when you pair like a nice 
white pair of white leg linen pants with a cute white top. It's always gonna be a sleigh. It always looks expensive. It always looks very classy. And so I love this look and I really enjoy when I wore it in that vlog. And if you see in that vlog, you see I was getting my groove on and everything. It's coming up if it doesn't go up before this video, but this is such a cute look. I paired it with these tan Zara heels and like a little basket weave bag that I recently thrifted. It's like a little natural material type of bag, but you can certainly dress it up with like gold accessories like I did in some of the other looks, but really cute look. So linen pants, crop white top, whatever heels you want to go with. Really great look for like a casual type of white event or if you're going to a yacht party, something on the beach, you know, where you still want to look elegant, but you want to be comfortable and really cute and modern. This is a sleigh. So let's go ahead and get into another look. Okay, you guys. Woo! This is my next look and baby, this is the sexy white event outfit. Okay, so if you're going to a club and it's like white night, or if you're going to like a really nice jazzy New Year's Eve party or something like that, birthday party for somebody, you know, any event where you just want to be very sexy. This dress is from ASOS. As you can see, it is a cutout. It has like a little X in the front. It's open in the back. You know, when I bought it, I was a little heavier, so it's also kind of loops on me now that I've lost some weight, but I still love this dress. I've held on to this dress because I just think it is so cute and flattering, and I love the way it's cut out. It still looks pretty classy. You know, it's just a nice overall look, and yeah, great for a sexy white event. I paired it with my gold Amazon to drop heels. Cute little gold bag, but you can go with any type of accessories with a look like this. A nice cut out white dress is definitely something you should have in your arsenal because you never know when you're gonna get an invite to like a sexier white event and that's when you wanna pull out an outfit like this. But we're gonna go ahead and get into another one. Here's my next outfit idea for a white party or white event and this dress is so classic, very cute. This is from Zara, it's a simple wrap dress. Let me spin around so you guys can see what it looks like but it's just such an elegant piece. It's a short sleeve and short wrap dress. So it definitely gives like a casual summer vibe. I would say a dress like this would be ideal for a white event that's gonna be at a winery or something outdoors, um, maybe some type of gospel event because it is pretty covered up for the most part. It hits above the knee, but not too high above the knee. And it's just a really cute dress. So I love it. I think this is so cute. Maybe if you have like first Sunday at your church and everybody wears white, I think this will be a nice look because I'm not showing anything. It's just a little bit of the bottom part of my legs and the bottom part of my arms. So, you know, there's not like cleavage popping out or anything like that. I think this is a really nice, elegant, classy and classic look. I paired it with tan accessories to kind of dress it down a little bit, but you can certainly dress it up with like gold accessories, silver accessories. So yeah, really cute look for this one. Let's go ahead and get into the final look. Well, actually, do I have one more? I think I got one more and then we'll get into the final look. Alrighty, here's the last look before I show you guys what I'm actually wearing. This dress is something that I picked up at TJ Maxx, so I won't be able to link this exact dress, but Lulu's has a dress that's almost exactly the same, and ASOS also has one that's very, very similar. So I'll link those, but this is like a linen white dress. As you can see, it has really fluttery sleeves. It's an A-line dress, kind of cinched in the middle. It does have an open back, and it has like a little tie here. I love this dress. Very ideal dress for an event at a winery, whether it's gonna be a wedding or just a casual day at a winery with friends and you all wanna wear white. Or if you're, let's say you're at Martha's Vineyard, going to some type of white event or, you know, something outdoorsy, light, casual, but also very elegant, this would be ideal. It's a very nice linen material dress, so it's lightweight, great for spring and summer. I think this is such a cute look. I paired it with tan accessories, including this straw bag and my tan Zara heels, because I think those accessories keep it a little casual. And I just love this dress. It's so, so pretty. And it's definitely a nice, summery, elegant vibe for a white event that's gonna be like outdoors. So yeah, really cute look, but I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing and then we gotta get out of here. Alrighty, here is the outfit that I'm actually going to be wearing to tonight's event. This is a Sweetheart neckline jumpsuit from Lulu's. I've had this for a couple of years, but they always have a similar version of this jumpsuit. Lulu's, Lulu's has amazing jumpsuits if you haven't checked them out. And they have just a lot of like white dresses and things like that. So definitely check them out if you're on the hunt. They also have plus sizes. So check out Lulu's, but this jumpsuit is from them. And this is what it looks like. 
It's just a very nice, elegant, simple jumpsuit, clean line, something that I really was looking forward to wearing for tonight's event. It's just a dinner, so I wanted to wear something comfortable, but also super elegant. For my outerwear, I'm gonna be wearing this little tweed jacket from Express. So I'm gonna throw this on top of my outfit. As you can see, it has nice gold buttons on there, and it's a very elegant outerwear piece. And of course, I paired the outfit with gold accessories. You can see that. Little gold back and she in, and I have on my Chinese laundry, super shiny gold platform heels because I need a little bit of height with this jumpsuit. But yeah, that's the look of the evening. Let me go ahead and drape my jacket on. Ooh, I just got a whiff of my uh, <laughs> my, my deodorant body spray from, from Native. It smells so good. I smell so fresh, y'all. <laughs> like, make sure you check out those products. I just got a little whiff. You know how when you move around and you smell like super fresh? and you get like a little whiff of yourself and you're like, oh my goodness, I smell so good, y'all. Anyway, this is the look, so very, very elegant, right? We are ready to head out of the door, so let's go now. I'm taking y'all along, and I think you're gonna really love this event. We on our way, y'all. We on the road. I'm excited. It's gonna be a really nice party, so I thought I would take some time to tell y'all who the party is for. It's for my friend, Ruthie. She is one of my closest friends. I don't have a ton of close friends, but she is one of my like ace boom coons. I love her. That's my little yellow bone. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to celebrate her. Like it's just so nice to celebrate friends. And yeah, I'm excited. Like I feel the love and excitement in my heart just to go celebrate her birthday. So yeah. Cancer season. Ooh, where my cancer's at? I love a good cancer. Cancers are very sweet, honest people and they always have your back and they are real true friends. So I'm blessed to have her. Hey y'all, so I have arrived at my destination, but I am super early. I kind of overestimated how long it would take to get out here. And so I'm like really, really early. I'm 30 minutes early to be exact. So I'm gonna just wait for a little while and then I'll go ahead and valet my car in a minute. But yeah, I'm here, party time. Ready to give me a cocktail, girl. Mm. Turn up time is what it is, turn up time. <laughs> I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. So we still wait for the birthday girl, but one of my beautiful friends is here. We all been, we all been <laughs> friends for almost 30 years, so we're here for the birthday girl. And her lovely other friends are here, her family here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get there. I'm already drinking. Hey, <laughs> take a I love her. I love everything. Her time. 
understand everything. I can't. I just really don't have a word to tell. I love her mm -hmm. from my heart. Our sons attended the same school when we met when our sons were two years old. Wow. And I remember she walked in the school with her son Landon and having a little moment. So I didn't want to jump over there because you know when you see another black mom, you want to leap. Yeah. Say, hey. You need to be careful what you say to her. You say to her, she said, how are you doing today? You say, well, I could be better. And she says, how was your relationship with your father? <laughs> together okay. and she is my daughter's uh, godmother she's an amazing woman um, I just I mean just a friend she is I'm so blessed to have her in my life and she is someone you can always depend on too much but I don't want to start crying <laughs> We've been friends since high school. I love you to death. You mean so much for me. Thank you for praying with me with my daughter Britton. And thank you for helping me with my custody vows. to me too. I've known Ruth for over 10 years and she's been a big inspiration to me. I have seen her through all her accomplishments, going into her grown woman. Motivate me a lot. I remember you know, growing up when I was being bad at school. Okay. And say, my mom would call you because I already know what she was going to say and how you'd be on me. I <laughs> um, appreciate those talks. Obviously, it paid off. Well, I hope it continues to pay off. Okay, happy birthday to Ruth Tyson. Aww. Okay, Ricky Ross. Happy birthday to Ruth Tyson. She was, you know, she's a passionate woman. When she say things, she mean it. She talked to the young generation in my family how to go get it. For the ones who listen, they get it. For the ones who don't, they get it. <laughs> Thank you for and I held it up the whole always time. Always being there, That's okay, baby. encouraging me. You're the friend I can pray with. You're the friend I can party with. Mm -hmm. You're the friend I can do a lot of fun things with all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate our talks, our friendship. so nice and hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage but yeah I am about to pull up at my home now so just wanted to wrap up the video and at least say goodnight since I didn't get to say it at the party but hope you guys enjoyed now I'm gonna send y'all to my outro that I already filmed <laughs> thank you all so much for checking out today's video as well as getting ready with me and spending some time with me and my friends for an elegant white party I really hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked all of the outfit ideas that I shared if you have a white event coming up make sure you use one of these ideas I think I pretty much covered all of them but I also found some additional really great outfit ideas so I linked everything I shared as well as the other items I found in regular and plus size that will have you looking extra fly for your upcoming white event. So check that description. I want to send a special thank you to today's video sponsor Native because y'all had a girl smelling super fresh all night. I was getting compliments on my scent and I'm telling you that's something that I love. Native's new deodorant and body spray line is definitely amazing. I love the scents in this collection but what I love most is that the ingredients are simple, they're good for you, they're not going to harm your body and they actually work and if you're looking for an aluminum free deodorant or body spray line this is definitely the one for you. They have something for everybody so check them out. Use the link in the description. Use my discount code for some money off of your order. 10 ways to is my discount code so make sure you use that it's on the screen right now and um, yeah click that link Native's gonna have you smelling extra fresh but also feeling good about what you're putting on your body so thank you Native for sponsoring today's video your girl got you covered for looking fresh and smelling fresh okay y'all make sure you subscribe before you go and to all my regulars I really hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you all on the next one bye y'all